thoughts and feelings go out to them and their family and hope that that baby makes a speedy recovery. Um, kids are basically innocent when it comes to these sort of things. No matter how shitty the parents are, kids are completely innocent. And um, yeah, man, we're just wishing that baby makes a speedy recovery in some way, shape or form. Now, getting all those pleasantries out of the way, getting all those pleasantries out of the way and just talking about this from a uh, BAPA verse, JRE verse, extended universe point of view, I find it really insane, almost quite batshit crazy that Papa would announce it the way he announced it and also all the things that led up to it. Because if you've been paying attention, if you've been somebody that's been clocked in on the Bapa verse and the Jerry verse, extended universe, you would have known that this baby's been ill for a while. It was born prematurely. Um, it's been in and out of the NICU or it was, you know, it was kept in NICU for a while the baby billy right i think the baby's name is and then it was um obviously quite poorly when the baby went home i think joanna brenshaw's wife was putting up posts on instagram talking about how you know the baby was not doing well that like, from here here and there but not really a mm, lot of detail obviously but you did get the impression that the baby wasn't a-okay what's i gonna say yeah i know how much it's affected me when i've gone through stuff in my life that isn't as bad as what they're going through with this kid. Because I can't imagine, again, if you have a baby and they're in and out of hospital, even if it's just routine stuff, it must really eat away at you. It must like make you have sleepless nights. You probably can't think straight. You can't eat. Like It must be horrible right, to have a baby and it's in and out of hospital. Because I know how people are with their pets, where they have to go vet all the time. Imagine when you have a baby. like It's mad, right? So I, can't, I can only imagine. I can't even begin to imagine because I don't have kids. But I know how much it's hurt me when I've gone through my little situations in life and I haven't been able to stream. And again, I'm a nobody. I have a real, I have a real job. I have a real group of friends. My life isn't predominantly like a social media thing. I'm not an influencer or anything. So maybe it's different. My demands, the demands of me posting online are maybe different from Papa and Mexican, right? But I find it very odd how throughout the entire time, they've kind of acted like everything's okay online. Brendan especially, hasn't really missed a pod, always buying new things, traveling all over the place. Just the other day, he just got back from Rogan and Austin. And most likely, again, I don't know much about kids. Don't begrudge me here. Most likely, this kid wasn't ill just over the last couple of days. This kid's been ill for a while. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's never really been in the clear, really. It's been, in, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down. If that's the case... Why is this guy running around town buying loads of shit? Why is he going and traveling to do all these shows? If there was a time to really step back and be there for your family and actually put your family first, as his caption said on social media, why are you out doing all this stuff? I don't, I can't comprehend it. So I'm going to play the clip for you anyway so you can hear what he said. And then we're going to go through some other stuff that I kind of collated over the internet and stuff and the Fire and the Kids subreddit. And I'm going to give you a little bit more of my opinion a bit. I find it, I find this whole thing bizarre, to be honest. Really, really bizarre. But let's play the clip anyway that Papa posted earlier today where he breaks the news about his daughter having to go back into hospital for some sort of surgery. Hey, guys. Um, most of my family and close friends know um, my baby girl has been in and out of the hospital since the day she was born. And uh, she has to have emergency surgery, emergency surgery on, <clears throat> on Thursday. So I'll have to cancel my tour dates in Nashville and Austin. I'm going to have to cancel my tour dates in Nashville and Austin on Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. I won't be on the podcast. I haven't missed a week of podcasts in 12 years. So, it's pretty serious. But um, the tour dates in Nashville, Austin, the refund your money. Hopefully this uh, all goes well and um, it's just a phase, you know? So, love you guys. 
That's why you won't see me on the podcast. <clears throat> and that's why um, you won't see me in Nashville or Austin. That's it. Love you. My initial reaction to this was like, he didn't actually cry. Maybe he's been crying throughout the entirety of the day. Maybe he's all out of tears. But he didn't actually cry. So that's one thing. The second thing is that this didn't need to be a video. This could have been a caption. This really didn't need, this really, in terms of, in terms of a taste, this is quite tasteless because it puts all the intention back on him. You know, it sort of makes it a bit of a theater. It's sort of like sympathy, empathy farming a little bit, because if this is just a caption about, hey, I'll be away from the podcast for a while. Um, I'm just going to take some time away to spend time with my family. I appreciate, um, you know, it's disappointing to have to cancel the dates, but I'll be back when, as soon as everything is okay with my family, because that's, that's the most important thing in my life right now. Why do you have to record this? Why do you have to do the YouTuber sigh at the beginning, the, the performative sigh? Like, all this, like, why? Why is this needed? Especially in this moment. Again, I'm, maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe I'm being a bit too callous. Maybe I'm not having an, any empathy or sympathy. And also, on, on the point of empathy, I think it's important. And again, I may be an idiot in this because I'm really dark and I don't really have many friends and I don't really have a range of emotions. So maybe that's probably why I'm like this. Or maybe there's something broken about me. But I honestly do think you should save your empathy slash sympathy for people that are somewhat deserving of it or people that you know to some respect or you know of of them a little bit whether it's people that you know you know online people that you know you know directly and stuff like people who shared a bit about about their life with you and stuff and they go through hard times you should maybe share save that empathy such sympathy for them people who kind of just use it as a thing whenever they need to and it almost seems a bit self-serving I don't really see, I don't really know if they really deserve your empathy or sympathy. I don't know if that's weird. Obviously, the kid does. Make sure the kid's okay. But her? Him, sorry? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Thank you, Josie. Like, is this really meant for the internet? Like, do you really need to share this to the internet? Even if you are going through something? Because maybe there's a, maybe there's a rationale to say, he kept this private for a reason because it's a really serious family matter. If that's the case, then just keep it private for the entire time. Don't tell anybody and just continue living life like everything's okay. Continue traveling, continue doing your shows, continue buying your stuff, hanging out with your kids, posting pics and stuff. If that's the case, just do that. Why are you, you know what I mean? Like, and then when you do make it public, you didn't make it all about yourself, which is odd as well in that regard. I just find the whole thing entirely, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly bizarre. But I also don't find it, I find this to be a bit disingenuous. I'm not going to lie. I find it to be super disingenuous. Um, especially when you think about the caption. It's time to put my family first. Now is the time to put your family first. What about all the other times? What about, and again, please forgive me. I don't have kids, so please forgive me if I come across as callous. But I would assume, if this was me, if I if it was me and I was him and I had two healthy, strong baby boys and then I finally have a daughter that I've been trying to have for ages via IVF and all these other methods and we finally are blessed with the baby, the heavens, the gods, the universe bless us with this baby. It's a gift after all these years of trying and then we, get, we have this baby and unfortunately there's complications and it's born premature. There's something in my head that will click. Okay, cool. Now I need to be there for my wife. Now I need to be there for my family. There's something that would click for me in that moment. Maybe before I was selfish, maybe before I was self-centered, and maybe, I don't know, as a man, maybe there's a thing about you, like when you have kids and they're, and they're boys, maybe there's a bit of like detachment because you know, you know, they're kind of boys, they look after themselves, you know? You know how you were as a boy, you'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But when you have a daughter and that daughter is born premature, there's a part of me that would think, that would hope I would click into gear. I'd be like, okay, cool, fuck this, man. I know I was a piece of shit before and I wasn't involved and I was doing as much as possible to not be around when my wife was pregnant, when she was giving birth, when she was raising the kids because I hated how she was and the house was tense and da 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 da. Okay, but now I have this baby, I'm going to rewrite all the wrongs. I'm going to be there for her. I'm going to be the best girl dad ever. 
That's what I'd assume would click in my head. But this guy's made no changes. If anything, he's still doing the same shit before he was doing before. Let's assume that woman doesn't have the wife. Joanna doesn't have a lot of help. She does have help, but let's assume she doesn't have help. She's a woman in her, what, mid-30s, having to look after three kids by herself with her mum, maybe here and there. Imagine the stress that's putting on her. Yes, she's, she's got her redacted parts. Yes, we understand that. But just imagine for a minute that she, they don't have this round-the-clock nanny help that you think they do have. Imagine putting all the strain of looking after two big, strong, strapping young boys who are coming into their own, right? You're trying to figure each other out, fighting every day, like just as boys do, tussling and shit, Make, you know, whatever, making a mess. And here you are having to raise this girl who's literally delicate flower, born premature and needs the, the most attention, most care, the most eyes. Is this really the thing to do when you, w w in that sort of situation? Should you really be flying around town, buying cars, going on tour, recording pods all the time, doing fight companions? Is that really your, the best use of your time? Or should you be at the side of your hot partner, your wife, and be holding the family down? Again, this is coming from somebody that doesn't have any kids, that doesn't have a wife, that doesn't even have a pet. Last thing, last thing, last thing. If your baby is ill, do you fly across the country and do this? <laughs> get me wrong look like fucking fun right this is this this is the jerry we all know and love or we all miss but surely if your baby's ill is this what you're doing this is the other day again i don't believe this baby was ill overnight this baby's been ill for a while is this what you're doing am i not did, do you guys remember that picture that the wife shared of them going to balenciaga the baby was born premature and from what i remember reading online you're not meant to take babies that are premature outside let alone into populated areas with strangers you're meant to keep them basically kind of um you know in an in an incubator which is basically your home you're meant to keep them in a very safe warm indoor environment which is and not have them go in and out and stuff this woman was like, i think she said she was bored or something right oh i'm bored at home i'm going stir crazy i need to go to the i need to go to balenciaga and took the baby with her <laughs> it's like Shall we play it? Shall we play it one more time for you guys? Yeah, let's replay it one more time. Let's, re let's replay it for those of you guys who haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 